guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an influencer unboxing video and every now and again I am lucky enough to receive a box from influencer filled with a bunch of goodies that they would like for me to review. So I figured that I'd go ahead and share the products that I got with you and my thoughts on them. I don't get paid to do this and I'm not like persuaded in any way like my opinions are entirely my own. So yeah I figured you'd like to see what I get and and I'll go ahead and at the end of the video explain a little bit about Influencer because you totally do not have to be a YouTuber or anything like that to get these boxes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This is my little Influencer box here. Well, it's kind of big, but um, uh, this is the Homecoming Vox box from them. So I already went ahead and opened up the box. I already know what I got and everything like that. And I tried out a few of the products because I wanted this to be a little more informational for you guys instead of just like, hey, look what I got sent to me kind of thing. So first thing we have in here are the um, Ludens, Ludens, um, Blue Raspberry uh, Throat Drops. And I went ahead and these are really good, um, not only when you're sick or anything like that, but I find these really helpful for when I've been at work all day and I'm literally talking nonstop to customers, especially during holiday time when it gets so crazy loud and I'm like literally screaming at customers for eight hours a day, it seems. Um, I usually go ahead and I use the um, Ricola drops because I like them because they're natural mostly and I just really like the way they taste and those help my throat so much. So I went ahead and I tried these out the other day because I had a long day talking at work nonstop in these taste so good like you have no idea you're even using like a cough drop like they taste almost like a candy but they work so well at soothing your throat um I feel like my Ricola ones work a teensy bit better but these taste like candy and my Ricola ones do not so um these are pretty nice the only thing is they do have um obviously dye in them so um if you are trying not to have things that have like food coloring dye in them then these would not be for you but um, other than that they taste amazing and they do a pretty good job so I liked these a lot and I will continue to use them for whenever I need a little throat lozenger. Then the next thing we have here are these red vine candies and I was really excited when I got these because I thought I feel like back in the day like when I would go trick-or-treating and I'd get the little Twizzlers those were the yummiest things ever and I feel like recently I tried them a few years ago and I don't remember them taste like they didn't taste as good as I had remembered so when I saw these I was like oh maybe these are going to be those awesome Twizzler memories that I have they're going to taste just like that. Um, they say that they have no preserves in them, in them. If you look at the ingredient list, it's literally corn syrup, wheat flour, citric acid, and artificial flavor, and red 40. Um, but to be honest with you, these don't taste very good. Um, I did not, did not really enjoy them. To me, they kind of tasted like food coloring and like, I don't, I don't even know, like I'll, I'll sacrifice myself and eat a little piece right now. Yeah. No. Gross. These are not good. I'm sorry. They... They almost taste like medicine. Like, mm, I do not like these at all. I'm sorry. I would go with just normal Twizzlers if you're looking for that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They taste like medicine and... They're just... Mm, I can't... I can't... I don't know how to like sugarcoat it. They're just not that great. If you love these, then fine. Like, I don't want to offend anyone if I don't like something, but it's just me. Like, of course, we're all going to like different things, but these, to me, are not that great. They literally taste like flour and food coloring, if I could kind of, and cough medicine, if I could kind of sum it up. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and give these away. Maybe someone I work with really enjoys these. I don't know. They're just not for me. 
Then the next thing they sent me are these Kettle Brand potato chips, and I love these. I've had these numerous times. I buy these all the time, just not on the jalapeno because I cannot stand anything remotely spicy. Forget it. It's just... I can't handle it so I'm actually gonna go ahead and give these to my brother because I know he is going to love them because the spicier something is the more he loves it he's crazy um, and just loves really really spicy things I on the other hand cannot handle spicy um, so but this brand in general I have purchased their chips before I have eaten um, probably their sour cream and onion ones are probably my favorite they have um, just their classic you know potato chip kind I do like it and um yeah, it says that it's made with no preservatives, it is gluten-free, and it's non-GMO Project Verified, which as of lately I've been really on a kick with trying to buy um, non-GMO products or more organic products and everything like that, so the fact that it's non-GMO is a huge bonus in my book. So if you're looking for potato chips, then... I would definitely recommend checking out this brand. Then the next two things I got I was pretty excited for when I saw them in the box and this is the Sinful Shine Nail Polish and this is um, made by Sinful Color so they're really affordable and this color right here is made with Gel Tech. Now forever ago I had a light blue nail polish. It's actually um, this one right here that I'm wearing on my nails and the darker blue is this color right here and I went ahead I'm pretty sure I put this one in a favorites video because their gel tech ones last so long so when I saw that this is another gel, gel tech kind of color I was really excited because I was so happy with the first one that I bought and I really like this color I feel like it's just the prettiest like electric kind of blue if you know what I say if you know what I say if you know what I mean and I'm actually wearing both of the gel tech colors on my nails the light blue one I had already purchased previously and then the darker blue one was what they sent me and so I'm already really really happy with this and I really like the color and everything like that then they went ahead and they sent me the top coat for it and I'm not a fan of this top coat I I don't know. I went ahead and I put it on last night. I used both the dark, the the blue, and then I put this one on top of all of my nails. And I don't like it. It made them look really bad. Like I don't I don't know how to describe it. It just was not a good top coat. Like I feel like when I put a top coat like my other top coats on, like my such Vite one, I just feel like it's just like no matter what's wrong with your nails it's just like boom like the most perfect thick glaze and it just makes them so shiny and everything like that but this one I feel like I feel like the such Vite, the such such Vite one that's like such a hard word for me to say I feel like the such Vite one is like it makes your nails look like they're in high definition like 1080 okay and I feel like this one is like making your nails look like 480 like that's the best way I could describe it like it just I don't I don't like it at all so I don't think I would you know repurchase this or use it again um, I try one more time maybe with a different nail polish I was in a teensy bit of a hurry last night so maybe I just didn't let like the bottom colored part dry long enough but I don't know I just really kind of don't like it <laughs> and that's all I can say about it. Um, so I'll definitely, you know, try this color out again, but with like my normal top coat and see, you know, how things go then. But so far, I'm not digging this one, but I'll definitely go ahead and try it out with other nail polishes and see how it goes. But my first impression of it is no bueno. But this color I really do like, and I'm excited to see how long it looks. I'll definitely, um do an Instagram post and update you guys on like how long it's lasting and everything like that. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you aren't already, if you're curious to see like how this one is going to go ahead and hold up and everything like that. So moving along to the last thing that was in the box, this is the Olay Active Botanicals. This is a refreshing gel cleanser. It says effective cleansing formula with snow mushroom, very fancy. Um, which provides glowing skin. So I haven't actually tried this out right now just because I'm kind of going through a phase with my face where I'm just trying to, you know, get it back on track because it's been acting up and going crazy. So I already have, like, my cleanser that I've been using for that. So I am once I'm done, you know, getting my face back on track, I definitely will go ahead and try this out. I do like Olay products in general, so I think I'm really going to like this one because it sounds like... 
It's going to be a really great product. It says our refreshing gel cleanser washes away impurities from your skin, leaving it clean and less oily without over drying. Since I have oily skin, this sounds like it's going to be a really good cleaner. And it just says use daily for healthy looking glowing skin. So who doesn't want glowing skin? So I'm definitely excited to go ahead and try that out. And if I can find my little card here, I can go ahead and tell you how much that's going to be. It says that one should retail for $5.99. The red vines are $1.59. The throat drops are anywhere between $1.35 and $2.49, so that's not bad at all. And then the Sinful Color Gel Nail Polish, Gel Tech Polish, is $2.99. So these right here for $2.99 I feel like is a really good deal because I've even splurged on like um, orally nail polishes and I don't know why I have two of them three of them and I don't like any of them I just they do not last on my nails at all so if you can spend $2.99 and get something that's comparable to like an SE polish or an OPI polish I definitely think it's worth checking out so that is everything that I got in my box here. If you guys are interested in becoming an influencer, then I will leave the link down to their website down below. It is completely free and you can just go ahead and make an account, connect your social media accounts and just get to reviewing products. I love checking out that site whenever I'm on the market for something new and I want to read like what other people have thought about the products. That is the perfect place to go for literally anything you could possibly want from beauty to home to food to anything like that. Everything you could possibly need need is on the site so definitely be sure to check out that link below and as always I thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to talk to you all in my next video bye